If you know blue when you die alive, you feel blue when you don't die. The most important thing is, what did you leave behind? What will people remember you for? Hi guys, it's a baby girl. Welcome back to my channel. So guys, you all know the popular Nigerian musician who just passed some few days back. The world is crying. Everybody is crying. Everybody is sad. My God, this guy is fantastic. At times I listen to his songs without even knowing he's the one. This is my first time like to see him. People are crying and whatsoever. May his soul rest in perfect peace. But now I want you guys to watch this video and listen to what blessing is saying about about it what are the lessons we can learn from this story because at times when things happen we just keep crying shouting doing whatsoever we have to do but what are the lessons we can learn from this this is very important in any situation there must be a lesson for us to learn it's so pathetic that many youths now they are just living and going i don't know the situation is really bad but now what are the lessons we can learn from this this is what blessings he is talking about and it's very important so watch and share till the if you know blue when you die alive you feel blue when you don't die the most important thing is what did you leave behind what will people remember you for that is what is called legacy that is the lesson i have extracted from this young champ who just passed away mobad i never knew this guy never heard of him before never seen him before but i know i've heard his music but i wasn't so into his music because maybe it was yoruba and i didn't understand what he was saying but have i come across this music yes i have his death made him go so viral to the point that his death was in our faces. That even if you don't want to talk about this person because you don't know this person, when you just open your phone, go to your um, FYI, go to your Explorer. In fact, as you're scrolling through your page, whether you're fooling or you're not fooling, his pictures are everywhere. Everybody's talking about him, his trend. Even if you go YouTube, Make you just go download something for YouTube, he will pop out. I took my time for three days, he passed on to read about this guy. I am not somebody who sits down and push blame on people. I am somebody who loves to extract lessons from anything that has transpired in life. I use it to build myself and I use it to build people around me. Let's talk about the lessons we learned from Mubad's dead. death. Unfortunately, we can't bring him back to life. And that is one reality a lot of Africans need to learn. When people die, it's just normal for people to push blames. Before the history of the internet, blames were being pushed to the wives, to the husbands, to close relatives and to loved ones. So whatever is transpiring is not new. It's just normal when people die. Pushing the blame to people kind of helps them numb the pain. Kind of helps them feel like we are not careless. We knew who killed our child. It just helps them live in denial. That is the reason why history will continue to repeat itself and patterns will continue to repeat itself. The reason why a lot of people are still going to die is because people do not learn the lessons. When things like this occur, people do not sit back and extract the lessons. When people die like this, their death is actually to teach and to avoid some certain circumstances. But no, we don't want to learn. We just want to talk. We just want to clout. We just want to go viral. We just want to contribute. We just want to put our mouths inside it. Right? But me, I'm all about the lessons. Number one lesson I learned from Mobad is to be very, very careful, especially when you're young. You could see that the boy was 27 years old and he started life quite early. If we want to look deep into his lifestyle, even though we don't have details about it, you will see that he was a young boy who was struggling and desperate to survive. He loved music. According to some of the story, they said he was doing carpentry work before he saved some money to go do music. And you know a lot of these young champs, they are so energetic. 
than whatever it takes to survive their way in. When you get into the streets, you're going to be offered so many things. The problem is, do you have enough discipline? Do you have enough zest? Do you have enough willpower to say no? You see personalities like us. You will notice I don't get involved with a lot of people. Not because I don't have them as friends. In fact, I have almost every celebrity's contact on my phone. But I don't involve with them in real life. Why? Because I understand what goes on. When people want to sign you into their record label, when people want to sign you into their movie production, when people want to sign you into their whatever they want to sign you into, remember something as a young champ. You're standing on their back. You're standing on their clout. You're standing on their fame. You're standing on their money. Before that person wants to accept you into whatever, their record label, their whatever, their movie, whatever, they have seen something in you that they can use. They can see that, okay, I can be able to use this person to project myself also. They are going to spend their time, they are going to spend their money, they are going to use their clout. You cannot just get up and walk away. It doesn't work that way. You are not going to go down without a fight. It's like courtism. It's like when you join court. You don't just stand up and say, I'm not doing courtism again. They will gun you down. They might even wait for the day that you're graduating. When it will pain your family the most and take you away. We need to be careful when we are making this decision, especially when we want to be successful, when we want to rush and blow. Anything that has been offered to us, we take it without looking at the consequences. Number two, slowly but surely. Success is success. Anytime you attain it, you will be celebrated. I learned this from my life journey. People like us, we made so many mistakes. We grew from our mistakes. Do you know how many people have reached out to me and said, Blessing, let me rebrand you. Blessing, let me do this. Blessing, let's take your, your brand. I say, leave the brand like that. Leave the brand like that. I refused. I don't want anybody to come and stress me. Tomorrow you come and say, after everything I did for you, you, you start pursuing me. I don't even know what I did. If I blink my eye, you say I blinked it for you. Slowly, but surely. It's okay for you to make mistakes on this journey. But just take it easy. Don't grab anything people are giving to you. I will repeat this thing to you again. Nobody gives you free lunch. There is nobody that does anything for you free of charge. There is always a time for payback. So when you are jumping from people to people, place to place, labor to labor, office to office, just be very careful because you are owing different people. The reason why people like us decide to stay on our own, we don't want to be indebted to too many people. That's why we did our day. Small, 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 we go to climb until we reach where we go. Even you will be 20-something. Where you rush, you go. 20-something, you don't rush. You don't do everything for this life. If you reach 30, what do you want to do? These are the lessons you need to learn. Where are you running to? Where are you flying to? Take it easy. There is how God has done this thing. Small, 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 small. As you begin to evolve from your 20s to your 30s, there are lots of things to learn. But you want, when you want to be running faster than your shadow, after running, you will still come back to it. That is regret. Take it easy. Farabale, one step at a time. Remember I said, if you don't blow when you are alive, you will blow when you are dead. Because sometimes that lesson that you don't want to learn when you are alive, you learn it when you're gone. The most important thing is, what did you leave behind? This story of this young champ is more about legacy. In as much as he was alive and he didn't blow as much as he wanted to blow or his dreams. But now that he's no longer there, at least he left something behind for people to talk about, for people to trend with, for people to live on with. I'm asking you today, if you die, if life hits you so hard, what would you leave behind? What is the legacy you're building for yourself before death comes? Let's forget about who killed and who did not kill and who did. Watch this story very closely and extract the lessons from it. If we don't, as usual, patterns will continue to repeat itself. Police will continue to drop statements. Bloggers will begin to continue to talk. People will continue to clout. Noise will continue to be made on social media because the social media space is where there's so much noise and distractions. But you know what is going to remain? Patterns. Things, the same things will continue to happen to different people. 
over and over again just because we love to blame we don't like to learn this video is for you to look back and ask yourself these bitter questions where are you running to are you running faster than your shadow who are your friends what is that click that you are desperate to enter do you know what it takes to enter that click do you know what goes on behind closed doors do you know what these people have dipped their hands into do you know what is following them or you just see fame and you just want to blow every blow comes with a penalty every blow comes with an explosion so you need to choose your blow wisely and be sure that when the consequences of this blow come it is something that you can cope it is not something that is going to eat your head or take your life so this video is to remind you of that decision that you want to make today look back and ask yourself is it going to be worth it at the long run no, but when I don't say make I relax, they enjoy my career, they chop my money. This blue will explode for my face. That is what the story should teach you. Pick the lessons, forget the noise, so that pattern does not repeat itself. Trust me, it could be you, it could be me, it could be anybody.